Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to group the patterns in the regex. Let's try to see in this video. In the previous video, we have already seen about the Monday, Tuesday and all those examples with a pipe operator. Something like specifying the options, selecting the alternatives in the regular expression, we have seen it. Now let's try to see the grouping in the regular expression. So this is also one of the important concept in the regular expression. Normally what I can say is grouping is done by the parenthesis. So grouping of regular expressions or patterns, whatever the name. So patterns is done by parenthesis. That is nothing but like these brackets. In JavaScript, normally we use these parentheses to indicate the pre precedence so here you will be having something like if so like this ampersand ampersand like this so you will need to have a parenthesis inside this one you will have or and you will have another condition so like this you will have a conditions like this so we use this parenthesis to indicate the <coughs> precedence precedence means code is evaluated before inside which is present inside the parenthesis it will be considered more so it is evaluated before which is present in the parenthesis so that is the main usage of this parenthesis so para the code which is present inside the parenthesis is evaluated before the code which is outside the parenthesis so that is the main importance in the same scenario here the, in the regular expressions we also do the grouping of the patterns using the parenthesis let's try to i will try to show you a simple scenario Let's say that I am having A5, B3, C, D, B5, something like this. So I am having another, another thing like this I am having. Now I am having a string of something like this. Okay. So here let me tell the rules of this one. Something like you can think of something like this. So you are having a five patterns. Okay. So the rules are you are having five two digit numbers. So first one starts with an alpha letter starting from A to D. So it can be from A to D. And here the next one will starts from a 0 to 9. And this will so on repeat up to 5 times. So this is our pattern. So this is our rules. Let's try to implement this one. So here I will try to write the same thing. Here I am having the same thing. Or otherwise I can do something like this. And here I can write something like this. E. So which is not present in our thing. So here I can write A and here I can write C something like that. okay. So we are having a string of patterns like this, which is a five digit, uh, which is a five digit something like this. So first digit will always be an number A to D and the second one will be an 0 to 9. So let's try to write the regular expression for this one. So first one is, so we know that it should be some A to D. So it is matching all the single matches here. So whichever I have having A to D here E is not matching. Why? Because we are checking for the A to D. Now the second pattern what we need to check is that is nothing but 0 to 9. So or otherwise we can check 0 to 9. Now everything is matching as a thing here. So here we are having some. So here we can write it. So now here it is matching from 0 to 9. Now these are matching in such a way that these one, this one, this one. So these all are matching as an individual 12 matches. But this all should be considered as one. And this all should be considered as one. And this all should be considered as one. So we should be doing like this. Now what I can do here. So I will tell that same two repeated five times. Now if you try to observe this one. So none of the none of the string is matching none of the pattern is matching why because here it is trying to see that a to d okay fine and it is trying to see 0 to 9 it should be repeated which should be repeated five times so that means if i try to write here 5 5 5 5 and here so this one will be matching why because so single a to d between the range a to d it is present and also here 0 to 9 five times it should be so here we are having five times whether it can be a two or three or something like that whatever may be the so here it is trying to match it but now we need to have a scenario in such a way that the a to d and zero to nine the 
group so this group should be repeated five times so because of, uh, for this scenario what we can do is so we can group this one these two things using the brackets immediately when you represent this one in a brackets immediately one match one match we are able to see the one match and here this one is not matching why because e is having in the middle so which doesn't make the sense here a to d is the thing and if you convert this one to something like b sorry something like here 5 and b so this one also will be matching so here you're having c d a so which is not the sense so if you are having 7 this one also will match so this is how you will be having now let's say that i am having some gibberish at the end and also i am having some gibberish at the end here so now i am i am having some text at the before and the ending of this one so what can you do here so i can add a word boundary okay so here i can add a word boundary so that now whatever the text is, is matching with the grouping of this one so it will match the same thing only so this is the thing i want to explain so this is how we will be doing the grouping in the regular expression so there are also so many things are there so here you will be able to see in the cheat sheet that grouping abc grouping like this now let's try to see our monday tuesday scenario so i am writing monday tuesday and wednesday let's say that i am having a wednesday. three three things are having or otherwise let's say friday let's make it as simple so wednesday is somewhat uh, the letters are more right so now what you will be trying to write here monday or tuesday or friday so this is the thing we will be writing now let's try to implement the word boundary so that only this should match now exactly it is matching now let's try to see that i am having here s s s d d here something like that so monday it is having the word boundary okay it is matching friday we are having the word boundary and also friday exactly the matching why come tuesday is matching here so tuesday has some extra text here at the end of this one why because for this monday so you have added the word boundary at the left side and for this friday you have word boundary at the right side so that means if you add words in the friday it will match it or otherwise if you add in the monday also it will match it so this could not be the scenario now what you can say here so it should match exactly the word so that means so that word boundary should apply to all the monday tuesday and friday then what you can do here so you can add a grouping okay so this is the thing you can add so now you can add a grouping now if you try to enter something here anything for tuesday or friday so nothing will match here so this is how we will be doing the grouping in the regular expression so this is the what i want to explain you now in simple scenario what we can write it here so you can say something like you can match it monday or tuesday or friday and i can write it day at, at the end so this is also one of the things so why because day should be here will not match and here if you write it this will not match and here if you write this will not match and this one also will not match same scenario tuesday also will not match so like this also it will not match if you mention here it will also match not match so like this also it will not match so here also same thing so what is the thing you are trying to have so you should not have any any starting word boundary and it should start with either monday tuesday or friday yes monday tuesday or friday it is and it should end with the day okay so it is ending with the day and it should not contain any word other than this one so you are, i am marking the word boundary so like this you can write the regular expressions using the grouping that is nothing but with the parenthesis so this is what i want to explain you about the grouping of the javascript there are also some other representations of grouping of this regular expression we'll try to learn more but here the parenthesis is used for grouping of the patterns so if you want to group the patterns and you want to apply it so you can use this parenthesis thing hope you understood about this grouping of the regular expression if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you